Good afternoon, brethren. You look good from here. Happy Sabbath to all of you. I'm happy to be here and uh, thankful for the time that I was able to spend with you. I'm uh, leaving uh, next uh, Sunday, tomorrow actually, already towards um, Pittsburgh. And um, I'm really happy to be here. People over in the States are so nice. They are so friendly and welcoming and um, I was really happy to stay with the, the, the Smiths and uh, the Millers also. Thank you very much for their hospitality. Well, you mentioned uh, the Day of Atonement. I'm really happy that it's on the 14th of September and not on the 15th, because that would be my birthday and I would get no birthday cake, so <laughs> I'm pretty happy about that. Um, well, as you've heard, um, John asked me to tell you a little bit about how it's like to be a young member of the Churches of God uh, in Switzerland and here we are. I'm happy to be here. Uh, probably you've already heard a little bit about Switzerland. Some of you have visited, as I've heard. Switzerland is a small country. It's the land of mountains, lakes, cows, chocolate, watches, uh, banks, and also cheese. I guess all of you know Swiss cheese. Uh, well, first I want to clarify a few things. Um, we don't have a cow at home, uh, our family. We are not farmers, so no cows. Uh, I don't own a Rolex, so <laughs> that's, that's not the type of watch that I have. And um, my family has no cheese factory, and uh, my dad is not a banker. Uh, so, so far, um, so that's the nose of Switzerland. But yes, we do have a congregation of UCG in Switzerland. Um, we are about uh, 35-ish people that uh, meet every three weeks. Uh, that's why um, we have some ministers visiting from Germany, and they, they have a really long way, and so we only meet every three weeks. But that's um, also a good opportunity for us to organize uh, Bible studies by ourselves. And um, also for the youth, um, we organize uh, stuff, activities, sometimes barbecues, and we all have good discussions. That's really nice. It's a small congregation, yes, but um, the advantage is that you get to know each other a lot faster. And um, we also have Bible discussions after services, and that brings us close together. That's really nice. Um, my friend Pierre Atcock, who some of you know, and I, we lead songs, and uh, we also have a small youth choir. So um, that's all really nice things that I can tell you about Switzerland. But, of course, we also face challenges. Um, we have a, a decent group of young people and uh, also a, a group of, of older people that already reached uh, a retirement age. And sometimes it's a little bit hard to connect, um, to, to communicate, but um, we can learn a lot from, from uh, the older people. And I guess... Uh, the young people also keep the, uh, the, the older people young. So uh, as far as that, uh, it's going well. Um, there's also challenges outside of church that I uh, want to talk a little bit about. Um, as you know, young people, they tend to worry about their future. Um, it's in the news all day. We, uh, I'm sure you, you've heard of the economical crisis uh, that uh, we have over in Europe it's a little bit over here, but in, in Europe, a lot of young people, especially in the southern countries, they're losing their jobs. They are um, not finding any jobs uh, after university, although they are very well educated. And, um, of course, that all also affects us, and we worry about uh, finding a good job. Uh, my church friend and I from Switzerland, we, we ask ourselves questions such as, will we succeed at school? or at university. And um, we also have challenges concerning the Sabbath. A friend of mine, he was a really good rower, um, Pierre Atcock, actually. Um, he, he's a, the ones uh, who know him, uh, he's really tall and he has quite a few muscles. So they wanted to keep him uh, for the national team. And um, he would have loved to stay, but all the tournaments and competitions are on Saturdays. And so he couldn't stay there. Um, he decided not to go anymore. Um, also, probably you, you've heard of the general draft that we have in Switzerland. We have a military 
Um, all men, all young men have to serve in the military, and um, that's challenging too, especially because of the Sabbath. Um, sometimes you get the weekends off, but most of the times you have to stay, and um, that was a bad thing. I luckily got away uh, because I had medical reasons. I had uh, two kidney stones. They were not nice, but um, I got away <laughs> from military. And uh, now I have to pr pay uh, about two or three percent of the of my in income of my annual income um, until I'm 32 years old. But uh, that's only money, as I told myself. Um, well, we also worry about um, finding our Selves a good mate, the right mate. If the church is really small, that's challenging too. And you see, we face quite a few challenges, and sometimes we do worry. But, you know, what helps me in these times? First, yes, um, we talk about it. As I mentioned, we have a good group of young people, and we can discuss a lot. And I'm happy to, be, to have these friends at church. But... Sometimes it's also good to just narrow down um, questions, uh, narrowing down the f my faith to simple questions. Uh, questions as, do I believe in God? Do I believe in his word? Do I believe that he has a plan for me and uh, that he will resurrect me? I'm, I'm really happy that I was always able to answer these questions with a confident yes. Now, if so, is it a big thing for God to help me find my right mate or find a good job or solve my other problems? And, of course, the answer is simple. I, I really don't want this to be a sermonette, but I would still appreciate it if you would turn to your Bibles with me. Uh, let's go to Matthew 6 and learn from the Bible what, sh what we should do. Uh, Matthew 6, uh, the verses 25 to 34. Matthew 6, the verses 25 to 34. Therefore, I t tell you not to be anx anxious about life, what you will eat or what you will drink, nor about your body, what you will put on. Is not life more than food? And the body more than clothing? Look at the birds out of the air. They're, they neither sow or reap, nor gather into barns, and yet you, our heavenly Father feeds them. And you not, are you not more of value than they? And which of you, being anxious, can add a single hour to his span of life? And why are, we, are you so anxious, anxious about clothing? Consider the lilies of the fields, how they grow. They neither, neither toil nor spin. I tell you, even Solomon in all his glory was not dressed like one of these. But if God so clothes the grass of the field, which today is alive and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, will he not much more clothe you? O oh, you of little faith. Therefore do not be anxious, saying, What shall we eat? Or, What shall we drink? Or, What shall we wear? For the Gentiles seek after all these things, and our Heavenly Father knows that you need them all. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these, these things will be added to you. Therefore, do not be anxious about tomorrow, for tomorrow will be anxious for itself. Sufficient for the day is its own trouble. Brethren, these verses, they talk about the basic needs that God will take care for, for us if we um, long for his kingdom. But I sometimes ask myself, are we really worrying about basic needs, or are we actually only worrying about nice to have. As young people growing up in Europe, I have to admit that we are pretty spoiled. We have everything that we want. We have all our ba basic physical needs fulfilled, food, safety, we get a good education. 
We have the freedom to travel or to keep the holidays even. Please don't get me wrong. I, I really appreciate all of these things. God blesses us young people in Switzerland so much, and I guess it's similar over here. But at the same time, this plenty, this abundance, might be dangerous. The world seems to have an answer to every question. That's how they make us feel at schools. That's what they tell us every day. They say, we know all the answers. You just have to ask us. The world is ready to give us whatever we want very fast. If we are bored, Hollywood keeps us entertained. If we are hungry, various restaurants provide fast food. And if we feel lonely, there are always strange people who would hang out with us. That's for sure. So, it is one of the challenges for us in Switzerland to learn patience within this fast world. Building a relationship with our creator is not like adding a friend on Facebook. It's not done in one click. It needs patience and takes a lifetime. It needs patience with God. We cannot ex expect him to do what we think is best for us. God's plan is perfect, not our plan with our lives. So, brethren, coming to an end here, this is probably the most challenging thing that young people from Switzerland have to learn. And as I've now traveled the U.S. for over two months, it seems that from California to Texas and from Alabama to Ohio, all of the congregations face some of these challenges. We as God's people, we are in this together. We are a family, and I'm really happy to meet all of you as my brothers and sisters. And I thank you very much for everything. Have a blessed Feast of Tabernacles and rejoice, because the kingdom is about to come.